In this video, we will look at the facade design pattern. It is a structural design pattern. A structural design pattern eases the design by identifying a simple way to realize relationships between classes. We will talk about its characteristics, what is the purpose of using it, and of course, we will have a demo to solidify the concepts. A facade design pattern simplifies the APIs so that it is easy to consume for the client applications. It hides the implementation details and steps from the client and internally takes care of these. It also involves refactoring the code to make it simpler. It uses anywhere you see the client calling many APIs in order to achieve a process and where you want to simplify the consumption API. Its UML diagram is very simple. It essentially works with composing the interfaces or classes the end client is calling and then provides a simplified API to the client. Let us take a look at the purchase system. Here I have Spring Tool Suite running on my machine which is a flavor of Eclipse. Typically, placing an order involves several steps in terms of checking inventory, reducing inventory, debiting customer account, placing order etc. I have already created some classes to save us some time. Here is the inventory class in the com.inventory package which has methods to check inventory given an item ID. Inside, it simply prints a message to show where we are in the process and it just returns true. Another method is to reduce the inventory which just prints the message inside and another method which returns the item value. It returns a hard-coded value of 10. I have not implemented these methods to keep the example simple and just focus on the concept without distracting us with the implementation details of these methods. Here is the orders class in the com.order package where there is a method for getting the account number for a past customer ID. It returns a hard-coded 100. Another method to reduce the account balance for the past account ID with the item value passed. And finally a method to insert the order which takes in the customer ID and item ID and generates a random order number and returns it. Again, we are not focusing here on the implementation details. Here is our test client. Just from the initial glance, you can see it is very busy. Here we are trying to place order for item ID 1 and customer ID 2. It initializes the inventory and order classes and then calls the inventory dot check inventory method to see if the item is there. If it is there, it reduces the inventory first, gets the item value by calling inventory dot get item value then using the order class gets the customer account number for the customer ID and then calls order.reduce account balance to reduce the account balance by item value and finally place the order. So as you can see the client has to remember the steps to call, the order in which to call the steps and the APIs inside the classes to call leading to a very complex and inflexible code. Let us see how we can simplify it using the facade pattern. So let us right click and choose new class, call it purchase facade. Inside, as we know facades typically work with object composition, we create an instance of the inventory class and an instance of the orders class. Then it simply creates one method called place order which takes in the customer ID and item ID. Inside, it will implement the same logic and steps as in our current test class. So let us copy it from here and paste it in our facade class. Now let us see how this simplifies the life for our client. Let us right click and create a new class, call it new test client. Inside its main method, our client simply creates an instance of the purchase facade class and then calls its method place order, passing in the customer ID and item ID. That is it. It becomes so much simpler for the client. It does not have to deal with the implementation details as well as allows the provider to make changes inside the facade class as the need arises and so it nicely decouples them. Let's run it. And here we see the steps of placing the order. And these are the same steps when we run the old test client. But look at the old client and the new client and how much cleaner and simpler the new client is. In this video we saw the characteristics of the facade design pattern which aims to simplify the APIs for the clients to consume by hiding the complexities. Next, we saw a demo to make the concepts concrete. Thanks for watching.